Hello everyone, welcome to my first day vlog for my game. This is my first game ever, and if you haven't seen my last day vlog video, then you don't know that I'm doing this with no previous experience and without writing any code. That's right, you can make games, good games, without any code. You will have limitations, but it's fine for making simple games. Since this is officially the first dev vlog, I will explain the game I'm trying to make. Make sure to subscribe, you can follow my progress and to suggest ideas. The game I'm making will be an adventure game. To make it more interesting, there will be puzzles and simple enemies. It will have a simple story with no deeper meaning or symbolic meaning or anything like that. It will just be a simple story. I'm thinking the game will have a stylized art style. It just looks easier to make. So what is the game about? The game will have seven levels. Two of them will be based on one of the other five. And each level has a different theme to it. And the theme is based on a human emotion. I did some research and the one theory says that there is eight basic emotions. I'm not making a level based on each emotion because I gotta keep the game small. This is my first game and I'm working on it by myself for now. I came up with this idea after watching a 10 minute video on the game journey. You will basically go on an adventure going from level to level, experiencing each emotion until you have experienced them all. And this is pretty much the information I want to give you for now. In future devlogs I will give you more details, so subscribe! Before we get to my current progress, there is one thing I need to figure out. And that's the title of the game. Right now I'm just calling it Emotion. What do you think? Do you like that name or should I change it? Let me know in the comments what would you call it or maybe keep emotion but add a subtitle like emotion and adventure game let me know i want all of you to be part of the project in some way and this is probably a good place to start let's begin on my progress the very first thing i did was start a new project unreal engine comes with templates to get you started i use the third person game template since my game is going to be in third person the template comes with this level, this mannequin, which has full movement controls and animations for both mouse and keyboard, as well as gamepad. This is a good starting place for my game. The next step was to create my own level with its own landscape. So I created this landscape and I added a green material because this is going to be filled with grass. If you want to know how I made this landscape, let me know in the comments and I will make a video on it. I didn't need to install any third party applications and it was all free. Essentially, I used a height map. You can find these maps on the internet for free, or you can make your own. And how do height maps work? Well, it's just a grayscale image. The white values are the highest points of the landscape, and the black values are the lowest points. I really like the way this landscape looks. It's pretty close to what I imagined. Now I just need grass. My game is going to have a stylized art style, and I found a stylized grass pack in the marketplace. The thing I like about it is that the grass reacts to the player. It was a little confusing on how to implement this feature, and the documentation was not really straightforward on how to do it. Eventually, I got it to work. Well, kind of. Take a look for yourself. Pretty much broke the landscape. After playing around with a few settings, I got it to work. On the second day, I started placing objects in the world just to get an idea of what it's going to look like. To be honest, I didn't really like any of it, so I just removed it. I also added a spawn point for the level and added this pillar tower thing as a landmark and make the player go in that direction. At this point, I was thinking about the levels and the type of puzzles that are going to be in the game. I think this step is called the blocking or white boxing. This level is going to be small because it will basically be a tutorial level. Here you can see me build different rooms and testing the distance between platforms. This step actually helped in planning out the levels. On the previous day, I got a piece of paper and pencil and I sat at my desk and... I couldn't think of anything. So if you're making your own game and are struggling in level design, try doing this. Just place some simple boxes and planes to get an idea of the layout. It's helping me design levels very quickly and this is what I came up at the end. You start at the spawn point, you see the tower so you can go explore it. There will be some type of entrance here where you can, well, I guess enter. Here's my mannequin friend that I place so I'm not alone in the world. Then you jump over a few platforms. 
go up the stairs, there will be some type of puzzle here involving the different rooms. This thing is a placeholder for a switch that you step on and maybe it will open the door for the next room. I think in the end you will be in this big room that will be fully decorated. Maybe at the end you grab this key here and put it in the pedestal, which then will transport you to the next level. At least that's my rough idea so far. On the fourth day I swapped out a few pieces with better ones just to get an idea of what it might look like with textures. And it wasn't looking too bad, but I was missing a lot of pieces. I also started making puzzle logic. Like here you step on this platform and the door opens and after a few seconds it closes. So simple. Here we have another platform, but this time the game enters a cutscene, then the door opens. I think it's pretty cool and I'm getting a lot of ideas for puzzles in the future. I tried doing this complicated puzzle here, I couldn't get it to work so I started working on something else. I started on enemy AI. Here is the enemy I made, it's just a mannequin but in a different color. As of right now, he is not intelligent, he is very stupid. He will only go to random points in a given radius and he will do this. Forever. Look at him, he just goes from point to point, completely ignoring me. But this is a good start and I'm just gonna call it a day. Thanks for watching everyone, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my devlogs. And remember, I need a title for this game, a good title. So let me know in the comments what your ideas are and see if we can make it work. Or maybe you do like the title Emotion and we should just leave it like that. And one last thing, remember, let me know if you want to know how I made my landscape. And I'll make a video on that. So until the next devlog, see you guys next time.